I've had more fun on this scooter than any device in my entire house. And I hesitate to even say scooter because this thing is insane. It can go up to 40 miles an hour. And the acceleration is so quick that it feels like it's gonna throw me off the thing. Like the tires peel out on it. And it has really good suspension. It can go off-roading and it's extremely smooth. And best of all, I can pull my kids behind it in the bike trailer and it handles it no problem because it's extremely powerful with dual motors. So this is the Varla Eagle One version two. And the version one was really good, but people did have a few complaints and they would make some upgrades, but the version two has fixed all of those and includes all the things people would upgrade. So it's a really good scooter. To turn it on, you hold down the power button and there's no key, but there's a little NFC tag that you just tap right here and it turns it on. So you have massive shocks and tubeless tires. And if you're not familiar with those, they get less flats because you don't have a tube to get pinch flats. So it's way better. They have some hydraulic disc brakes and these came calibrated really well out of the box and they stop so fast, which is necessary when you're going 30 to 45 miles an hour. So there's two charging ports and it comes with one charger, which is a little slow, but it's not a big deal for me because I just charge it overnight. But if you do need to charge it faster, you can purchase a separate one and use both ports. It has a super bright headlight and you can see really far when you're riding at night. There's also lights on the side, which not only look nice, but are there for safety. That way cars will see you at night and you can press the button again and they'll actually turn RGB, which look pretty sweet. There's also this accessory that you can purchase separately to mount things like a bike trailer. Now this is just half of it because my bike trailer is a little bit different and has this weird attachment, the Burley trailer. So I had to buy this separate bracket on Amazon, which I'll link down in the description. But if you have a normal bike trailer, the thing that it comes standard with should work fine. It's kind of ridiculous that I can pull this bike trailer with my scooter but I love pulling my kids in this bike trailer with my e-bike or now scooter. I can take them down to the park. We go look at Christmas lights. We just go on fun rides. And even if you don't have kids and you have a pet, I've seen people put their pet in a little trailer and pulled by the scooter. So it's super helpful. Pulling the bike trailer is way easier than I thought it would be. I thought it'd be super unstable on a scooter, but it's really easy. It's about the exact same as pulling it for my e-bike. So you might be thinking, no, you're not gonna go 30 to 40 miles an hour with that bike trailer on. No, I'm not. There's actually some gears or speed, max speeds that you can choose from. It starts off in one, which is pretty slow. But if you go up to two or three, that's really great for pulling a trailer. It's about 10 to 15 miles per hour max speed, but if you wanna go really fast, you can go up to four or five. It's really difficult to convey how big the scooter is until you see it in person, but let me put it next to another electric scooter so you can see the size differences. So this electric scooter is similar size to like Bird or Lime. It's pretty small. It feels like a little kid's razor and I can just lift it with one hand, no problem. The Varla Eagle One, yeah, that thing weighs like 82 pounds. The handlebars on the little scooter are really close together and it's not very stable. Like when you're going 15 miles an hour, it's really shaky and it feels like you're gonna crash. So it might seem kind of crazy to go 30 to 40 miles an hour on another scooter, but look at the handlebars on this thing. They're way further apart. It's so much more solid, like, everything there's no wobble or anything like that way higher quality and even though it does fold down you tighten this thing really tight and there's just no wiggle or anything there's this little safety pin and i feel really comfortable going fast on this thing so the one really big issue with this scooter is the screen it's almost impossible to see during the day although you can see it better in the evening and at night but you cannot adjust the brightness and i wish they would have made it differently so this hook right here is used when you fold down the scooter, but you can also use it to hang things like grocery bags and it connects really easy and it's very secure. It's a lot easier than just dangling it off the side of the handlebars. In the settings, they tell you not to change the acceleration speed and I can kind of see why because it's so fast, but it is fun to turn it up a little bit. So let me show you how to do it. So you just hold down on the plus and minus button for a couple seconds, and then you'll go into the menu. And this is where you can change a few things, 
like regenerative braking and things like that. So you go to P6, you just press the power button till you get to six. And I have it on number three. So it starts with one, which is a little too slow in my opinion. It's great if you're just starting out right when you get the scooter. Three, I feel like is perfect where it still is really fast, but it's not gonna just throw me off. But when you change it to five, whew, it is so fast. All right, enough talk. Let's go ride this thing. Look at that Roadrunner. These things are so cool. Nice straight away right here. Let's see what we can get up to. 32, 33, 34, 35. It's frozen. Woo! So awesome. The scooter says they're at 36, 38. All right, let's see how fast five gets. Oh, you hear that? Just, oh man, the tires spin out. Here, here we go. Oh, five. Oh man, the acceleration's insane. I'm already going out. Oh my gosh. Oh man. This is scary how fast this thing goes. It's so smooth. Like, even though I'm going so fast, it's really stable and smooth. There we go. On the dirt trail. Handle it like a champ. It goes so fast without even really feeling it. Woo! If it gets a little sandy, dual motors handle it no problem. Look at this, handle this hill. Easy. Handles all these bumps so good. Woo! Wow, that was so much fun. I can't believe how fast this thing can go. And it handled all those trails with no problem at all. Now, as you can imagine, this thing is not cheap. It's around 1600 bucks, but I'll have some discount codes down in the description. And don't worry, I'll have some more smart home tutorials on this channel soon. I hear a lot of you asking about HomeKit and Home Assistant, connecting those and all that. Those will be coming soon. So I appreciate all of your support and thanks for watching.